Oh, jeez, I almost fell backwards in my chair. Howdy, guys. Nintendo Capri Sun here. And we are in Xanarkin. And hey, I guess it's about time I started doing some Final Fantasy X again. I just wanted to get Super Mario RPG underway a little bit before I went back to this. So that's what I'm doing. And now we are at the Xanarkin Cloister of Trials. Or as I like to call it, the Tetris Mind Trip. Which is very much a mind trip indeed. Basically, it'll show you a bunch of pieces on a screen. And what you want to do is, like, each of these white dots on the floor, if you step on them, will reveal what piece they actually are. Like, this one's actually a T-piece. Each dot is only one-fourth of the actual piece. Now, if you look at the picture, it'll show you which dots you need to step on. So we need to step on this one, and then these three down here. And that should do it. And that's pretty much all there is to the puzzle. It's really stupid, actually. I mean, it just shows you a bunch of dots to step on, and you step on them. It's more... I don't know, you know, you could practically train a four-year-old to do this. In fact, a four-year-old would probably be better at doing this because they're more acutely aware and able to remember things. And Oh man, that light is awesome. Leave it like that. Turn it back off. Yes! I love it. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's right, okay. <laughs> Let's keep it a secret. It's a secret to everybody. Okay, so now that we've opened the door, there's going to be another room in here. And you thought that was bad? Okay, well, this is the next room. And we'll be doing several puzzles on this whole thing, so... <clears throat> what you want to do first is actually set up one of the puzzles to do, which is done by moving one of the statues here in the first room. So, we'll start with this one here. Simple enough. It'll show you a symbol, and it'll show you an arrangement of Tetris pieces that, I guess, looks slightly like the symbol or something. And each of these symbols corresponds to one of the temples in the game. Although, to tell you the truth, I would not recognize one if I saw it. So the top three, those two over there. Okay, let me just get... I didn't see what the last one was, so I'll have to look again. But here's what you can do, though. If you don't remember all of them at once, you can just go and not step on a few of them to light them up, and then go back and look at the puzzle again, and it'll tell you which one you're missing. It'll just show you the solution again. So it's really not too difficult. Let me just get up here and have a look. Okay, it's that one over there. Yeah. Now, if you step on one of the wrong uh, dots, make sure you don't do that. Because if you step on the wrong one, it's usually going to be a square. So there we go. A white square. Solid white square. TV dinner. TV dinners! Oh, I just made some chicken and dumplings that is kicking ass. I bought a new pot at Pick and Save today. And it's like a huge-ass pot. Bigger than any pot I've ever had. And so basically, I fried about three times. Well, fried, no. And normally, I would boil chicken in this other pot that I had that only held maybe a half a gallon, it looks like. Maybe one gallon, I don't know. But this new pot I got holds a lot more, and I was able to cook three times as much chicken at once. So it's going to be pretty epic. Oh, how am I supposed to remember all that? Jesus. <sighs> I didn't even see. Like, I lost all sight of it after the first two pieces. I remember this, this, and that, and that's all I remember. Literally, I'm gonna have to look at it again. Let me just look down the left side and see what's going on over there. Oh, just that one? Okay. Alright then, well, let's go get that one before we forget. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure... Uh, I don't want to take any chances, though. Ah. Okay, the bottom right, that left one over there, and then the bottom one of these two right here. Oh, the blue one? This one here? Oh, thank God. I didn't see that one. I was... <laughs> okay, so... There's two in the bottom right, so these are both... reds. I'm pretty sure with all the puzzles, each dot is the same piece for each one. This one right here. There you go. That's puzzle number two, y'all. So how's everybody doing today? Today is February 3rd. Yesterday was Groundhog Day. And, uh... I'm not sure if there's gonna be a video tomorrow, guys. I have to warn you, because I blew a tire. Blew a flat tire on the way to work the other day. And my car's been sitting in the Pick and Save parking lot for the last two days. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about it. If I'm gonna have to call a tow truck or just... I, I have a spare, but I can't put it on. I didn't even realize I had the spare until today, and it's not really a spare, it's like what they call a donut tire. It's a temporary replacement. 
So I had one on my other car. I drove on it for like a week and it was okay, but still. Okay, those two. That one. That one. Okay. I think I can get that. Boom. Boom. Wait, what? Oh, I did it wrong already. Holy crap. Oops. No, stop stepping on that one. I know what I did wrong. I, I thought that I also, when I said those two, I thought the wrong two. There's this one here. These two here. And this top blue one here. I saw that time. Yep. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the flat tire. We're working on it. They're gonna call Dad tomorrow. We got the statistics and all off of it. Okay, that's easy enough. Just make sure you avoid the other dot. Jimmy Square Box. There we go. And this one here. And that one there. Yep. Bam. Of course, it's not like you're going to get some huge reward when you finish this. You're going to have to fight a boss that you definitely don't want to fight. <laughs> but you don't have a choice. If you want to beat the game, you have to fight the boss. I'm just saying, you don't want to. Normally, I would say you don't want to to indicate something that you just shouldn't do altogether. But in this case, it's something you don't want to do, but you have to do it. You know, like homework. Except you die. And this will be the most complicated one, I think. Oh, well, that doesn't look too bad. It's only CHA pieces. I'm sure we can handle that. Oh, sure, just step on one before you even get in the room. That's that one of them? Oh my god. <laughs> That's nice. There's one less to remember. Okay, so... Bottom, bottom... Let me just get the reds first, yeah. Uh, and, uh, I'm not sure what I meant by bottom earlier. I think I meant this one. Yes. Okay. Maybe we'll take one more look at that. Could be too much more. Ah, okay. Very well. <coughs> Excuse me. And the green. Oh. Wow. That was a close one. And when that happens, you'll notice that two spheres just appeared. Uh, well, actually, I didn't even notice myself, but I'm pretty sure that's what triggers these two spheres to appear. And if you had checked the middle statues in the first room, it would have not allowed you to push the statues as I did with the others. It would have just said there's an empty sphere recess. But it has nothing to do with recess at all. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. But insert sphere. I know recess is just another word for blah. And this will open up another one. But you don't have to do a puzzle for these two, so thank God. Just take the spheres out. Just when you thought it was, a, uh, You know, couldn't get any worse. Wait a minute. But there should be a destruction sphere in here, shouldn't there? I would think. I'm pretty sure there is one. Oh. Hmm. Well, we'll just have to... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not talking. All of a sudden, I just... That looks like they said Joe there for a second. Huh, <laughs> J-O. Crazy, man. Craziness. Oh, this is cool. Uh, sounded like you were singing the hymn, but it never sung that last resolve note, which is very weird. Oh no, the TV's freaking out. Save point. Probably not a bad idea. Just in case. I'll make an extra save file, so if it turns out there is a destruction sphere, I'll make sure and show it in the next episode. But I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I would have seen one of it. It doesn't seem like there's really anywhere that it could possibly be, as... Uh, this might just be the exception. The thing is, I could have sworn I remember putting a destruction sphere over by the TV and blowing something open. Well, it's not like you'd get a chance to anyway. If this automatically happens. Okay, now this boss fight. Now this is going to involve a little bit of strategy. Uh, strategic placement of your characters, namely. And a little bit of luck. But, with the right timing and the right... Uh... Cajones cojones, you can handle it. So without to do, I summon Kohiro! No, I don't summon anybody. Titus and Yuna are going to stay where they are. You notice there's six spots going around this guy. 
And when you attack him, he's going to counterattack by uh, swooshing his arms across your spot, and thereby hurting the characters that are standing on the two spots next to you. So what you want to do... Trigger command, huh? Move? I don't want to move. But yeah, everyone will have the trigger command to move. What I'm going to do first, I think, is cast a Stiga. And when Orin's turn comes up, uh, you know, let's see. Actually, I don't want her in here. I want Riku. Riku can... Well, she's got an overdrive, huh? Alright, well, uh, let's just do what we did before and use the curtains. Yeah. That should help out tremendously. Let's protect Shell, Regen, Haste. Now, Orin, I'm gonna have him move to that spot right there. Boom. Now, keep an eye on the spots that you're standing on, because every once in a while he's gonna plant a mine on one of the spots, and it's gonna blow up just like mines tend to do. Ugh, let's try Muggy. Here comes his counterattack. Whoa! Did that hit two people? I, I, I didn't see. Uh, well, we'll figure it out. Huh. That's strange. Well, that's because of the way that. Oh, okay, he's facing. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. When he counterattacks, he counterattacks the way that he's facing. So, what you could do if you want is just move everybody back behind him. But the thing is, eventually he'll turn towards you. So, it's right to only have one person in the attack range. We'll go ahead and let Orin hit him. Even Orin's only doing 4,300, so. Yeah, Riku's not gonna be able to take another one of those, but Berserk Tail's gonna kill her anyway. Oh, and maybe not. Yeah, for some reason they like to zoom in very uh, dramatically on this character when they get Berserk. What's he doing now? Good lord, he's taking a turn that he didn't get. That's what he's doing. Wait, don't. No, we can't afford to have one person dead. It just can't happen. At least if we bring her back, she won't be Berserk anymore, so. You know, put on those boots and start cleaning! Um, now he's facing that way. That's just as good as the way it was before. Let's start getting some other people involved here. Overdrive? Ronzo Rage. Ronzo! Uh, we already got a Mighty Guard, so let's do Thrust Kick. Thrust Kick. I know I always do this one, but, well, I like it. I've fallen in love with it, what can I say? Whoosh! Swish! Maybe we should just let her stay dead. He'll be hitting nothing over there. But once he turns, we gotta bring her back and then start moving characters around. Oh, where's he going? Ah, he didn't hit anybody. He's stupid. He planted glyph mines, and they exploded already. What the heck? Yeah, you can see the glyph mine on that one platform over there, so... Uh, let's see. I, I know you can't lance it for anything, so you can't lance it for bosses, I'm pretty sure. Damn, Kamari! Yeah, just keep counterattacking Riku's dead body. Maybe you can tear her apart enough so that we can't bring her back. That's disgusting. Jeez, he's got a cremator! My god! Oh, who's he going for now? Orin! I don't mind Orin being berserk. He's not going to be doing anything else besides attacking, so let him have it. But we need to move Kamari now, so... Move him back to, uh... Actually, we'll move him right there. Psh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Orin. Just go right ahead. You're a madman, you know that? <laughs> He's got, Between protect and regain, he almost can't be killed, I think. Oh, now Kamari. Well, Kamari is berserk. That's fine, too. Shoot. This guy's gonna end up killing himself, I think. Wait a minute, though. Shit, I've got two berserk characters that I can't control. Oh, no. I could have died here. I could, I could be dead here. Oh, okay, never mind. He got him. Oh, I was almost dead there. I, I didn't even think about that. I forgot that Riku was dead, and Kamari and Orin were both preserved. And when, and when a character gets preserved, he can't control them, so I could have... Man, I could have died there. Well, I did die, so I'd be looking at my HP now. I was like, jeez. Uh, because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> no. I don't know. I, don't, I, I think the Berserk, well, the Mighty Guard helps a lot. And the Berserk ups your attack power tremendously, so... That chicken and dumplings sure smells good. Can't wait to sink my teeth into those bad boys. We're here. Yeah, I know, really. The hall of the final summoning. Oh. Go. You tell yes. that asshole. <laughs> that was the worst time I've ever said it. So you, you know anything but an asshole in this game. She's the anti-asshole, I and mean, look at her. She's so scared. She doesn't deserve what this 
Oh, never mind. Twelve thousand Thunderblade level four K sphere. Huh? What do you mean no final Aeon? What? No final Aeon? What the hell are you talking about? Tell me it's a rumor. Sir Oren, everyone. Guess we gotta find out for ourselves what's going on then, huh? I can't believe we're up to 15 minutes already. That doesn't feel right at all. But yeah, guys, what's going on? Is there no final Aeon? What's going on here? Find out next time. I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. I'm really torturing you now with this. I'm really pulling this stunt on you. Yep, I am. Bing! See you later.